Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I'm back with a video that has a really icy look to it. And so I thought I'd go ahead and get started with what I have on. And I did start with the Maybelline Super Stay C Plus, that in shade 102. I mix that with the Liquid Lights by ColourPop. And this is the lightest shade that they have. And that's what I have on for the base today. And then as far as what I did for the actual blush and uh, bronzer, I got out the Buttermelt Face Palette. These are new for the holiday. Uh, they're by NYX. You can get them over at Ulta or on the NYX website. And they do have a bronzer and then two blushes. This is actually the lightest uh, one. There's a darker one. I picked that one up too. I'll show you what it looks like. This is the darker one. And this one, again, the bronzer and the two blushes over there. So uh, really fun. They do have the buttermilk formula in there. So um, they're this formula, but you get three instead of uh, one. And I would definitely recommend going ahead and picking them up. They have a lot of pigment. And I'm finding that um, usually with still being oily, I have to wear a uh, liquid blush and then put a powder on top of it. But with this particular formula, I don't have to do that. Um, and it'll stay on for a nice long time. So I'm not having uh, to wear both a liquid and a powder. And that's kind of nice. So they have a lot of pigment and they stick or they stay. And um, let's see, as far as what I did for highlighter, the uh, Frosty the Snowman from ColourPop came with some add-ons and getting two highlighters together was an add-on that you could purchase, so I did. And I got, um, let's see, Icicle Spree. As far as the highlighter, this one has purple, orange, and pink in it. It comes off pretty pink, and I had that one on the cheeks. And then the Winter Wonder, which is the other color that came in the pack, and it's a really icy highlighter. That on the chin, right, of, right above or right below the nose, right there, and then right on the forehead. So, and I put a little bit on the cheeks as well. So I do have both highlighters on today, and uh, definitely one of ColourPop's all-time best products ever. So I'm really enjoying that. Uh, moving into the eyes, I do have the usual suspects on. Let's see if I can. Got a lot of stuff here, so it's kind of hoping things aren't going to be falling onto the floor, but who knows. I had the Lash Without Limits on, um, and this one is by Essence, and the Volume Stylus by Essence as well. I put some of this on uh, to cut the lashes to get them some length and a little bit of volume, and then I finish it up by adding some of the Tupi Mascara by Essence on top. That way I get a little bit more length, or in my mind I get a little bit more length. Um, I did also go ahead and use the Essence Make Me Brow in Brown. So actually I have, this is the one in blonde and I have the one in brown and I don't know where it is. It, yeah, it up and walked away here. So um, that's what I have on for the eyes as far as, uh, yeah, the Make Me Brow in dark brown and then the mascara. And then as far as the eyeshadow, um, I do go ahead and start with the Frosty the Snowman by ColourPop, which I think is a really pretty winter wonderland, kind of fairyland, kind of. And it's everything that you don't think about winter. Because when I think about winter and doing seasonal eyeshadow looks, I think about dark purples, dark burgundies, black, uh, gray, charcoal gray, um, so I think about all the deep, dark colors. Um, I, I forgot uh, the cold girl look or the winter wonderland or the fairyland look, which is part of it. I mean, it's part of white Christmas kind of thing going on and, you know, going out into the snow to play and that kind of thing. So, yeah, I have to admit, I kind of forgot about that part of winter because... Um, I haven't seen my Frosty the Snowman 
you know, uh, special yet this year, so I totally forgot about playing in the snow. And um, I used to do a series where I would do fun complimentary palettes, and um, I kind of did that with this one as well. If you want a complimentary palette to Frosty, try the Twilight palette, because Frosty is really, really light, and Twilight actually has a lot of the darker versions of the uh, cooler colors in the palette. So these are the two palettes together. And um, yeah, they, um, so Frosty has the turquoise over here and the periwinkle blue, and then the darker periwinkle blue is right here, and it has three different shades in the Twilight palette. So um, if you want to go ahead and deepen up looks with Frosty the Snowman, Twilight will definitely work for you because it literally has the periwinkle blue, just darker periwinkle blue in it. And that's kind of what I did today. Um, I did start with Frosty and I started with the peri, or pardon me, the turquoise blue on the lid. I went ahead and used the light periwinkle um, in the crease. I went ahead and used the white right from right along the brow bone there. And so that's what I did as far as base from this palette. Then I went over into Twilight. I used this one in the crease as well. And then I went ahead and used this glitter. And this is that uh, ColourPop glitter that's really finely milled. Um, it's suspended, so you don't need to have a, um, a glitter glue. It'll adhere with that one, but you can use one as well. So again, I used this in the crease. And then this one um, to go ahead and top it, to go ahead and deepen up the look a little bit since it's so light. And it's still a really light look, and I did go ahead and deepen it up. And then um, as far as what I used from this palette, and I used a lot of the glitters, um, I did go ahead and use this glitter from here to about midway on the lid. And then I used this glitter from about midway to the to the outer edge of the eye. And so I did go ahead and use both the glitters from here as well. I think the look turned out really pretty. Um, I did go ahead and use an emerald eyeliner as well in purple. Here's the way that the eye look came out. So it came out very, very glittery, very winter wonderland, fairyland kind of look. And like I said, these two palettes together just work really well. Um, they have a lot of the same, a lot of the same shades, a lot of the same uh, shimmers, but not the same shimmers, but shimmers that are complementary to each other. Um, this one over here that has uh, the green and the blue in it, it's definitely a dupe duochrome, probably a multi-chrome, and um, I actually used a little bit of that on the inner corner here, um, but yeah, any of the white shades will go, any of the blue shades will go, um, the green would be a really pretty pop of color, and so would the pink that's in here, so you could definitely do all sorts of, um, you know, going ahead and getting all sorts of fun looks with these two palettes and they definitely go really well together. So again as far as complementary palettes I would definitely suggest putting these two together. If you're going to be doing that and if you want to have more looks available to you uh, mixing these two together will definitely go ahead and help you kind of go ahead and do some of that. And um, other than that, was there anything else that I didn't use some of the Sungasm by Catrice to go ahead and um, do the, um, the powder, the finishing powder, that's what I'm trying to say. Mm. Lips, I did go ahead and get out the NYX Buttermelt, the Sandworms one, and then the Metaglow by um, Essence, so that's what I have on there. And so those are fun, 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 fun. And I think that's all the 
video, and it's a really fun look. I mean, you just want to go out and play in the snow when you have a look like this going on. So uh, that's a video, and I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.